What's up, Brozones? Welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another FNAF video. And welcome to a video that I didn't think I would ever be making. Uh, yeah, you read the title correctly and you are reading this correctly. We are getting a multiverse in FNAF. Well, actually, that's a little bit of a white lie, but uh, it's 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 <laughs> it's possible. There is some kind of crazy world crap coming on uh, on, on in the Tales on the Pizzaplex series. Uh, it's it's coming. It's coming. I'm telling you, the the FNAF multiverse is coming. Uh, I mean, we already see how there's kind of like different worlds. Uh, we know that the original FNAF trilogy is kind of in a different. Uh, different world to the game timeline. Uh, Fazbear Frights, a lot of people are saying that that is in a different world as well, while a lot of people are saying that it's in the same world as the... it's in the same timeline as the game timeline. So really, it, that's kind of debatable, but this kind of... what we're going to be talking about today in Lally's game is kind of a big thing in that there could be other worlds and parallel universes in this sort of in in this franchise now so um let's get straight into this what we're talking about today is uh basically what we were talking about in yesterday's video which is that miss go and entom uh, on the Freddit discord uh they got review copies of Larry's game, they read it and they reviewed it and they have told us a little bit of information and we're delving even deeper into that information today. We're actually going straight to the craziest story which is under construction. So let's go straight here. So this is a Twitter post from Misko. Since it's taking me a while to properly type out my thoughts on Tales from the Peterplex number one to keep discussion alive, I've decided to make a mini review where I share one image for each story which I selected based on what vibe it gives me. And I like that idea. That's a really cool idea. This is what we got for Under Construction. <laughs> what? Uh, so if you don't know, this is actually uh, from Stranger Things. Uh, I am currently only halfway through season two of Stranger Things. I know that a whole new season has come out, but uh, this is the screenshot that they sent. And uh, I, I don't know what this is about because this is season three. Uh, FNAFI has been kind enough to kind of give a brief description. The creator controls other human beings to melt their bodies to use their corpses for his own body. Uh, so I assume this thing is made out of corpses? Something and Misko said that this is like the vibe that it gives him. So I I don't really know. I don't know what to say about this uh, other than let's watch this video, which is one minute long. It is Stranger Things season three spoilers. So if you are watch, if you're going through Stranger Things, I wouldn't suggest watching this. Uh, I've already spoiled it for myself because I am an idiot. But let's have a watch of this quickly. Okay, so apparently it's called the Mind Flayer. Merging with the inflect with the infected or the flayed. Okay, so this person has just kind of collapsed and completely died. I don't really know what's happening. I cannot explain it to you in in scientific terms because I have not watched this season of Stranger Things. <laughs> they look very zombified. Uh, the flesh is kind of, I guess, crawling up into the monster. This is really cool, and there's like loads and loads of victims. I wonder if that's how it's going to work in Under Construction. I wonder if there's going to be more than one victim, just like in Lonely Freddy, just like in Gumdrop Angel, all of those sorts of stories. Uh, this is really cool. It's giving me some really creepy and kind of gory vibes, and I really want that sort of thing in uh, in the Tales from the Pizzaplex books. Interesting. So under uh, this is this is a quote from the review that we went that we covered yesterday. However, I believe they that Misko changed what he said uh, because the first time I read it, there was actually a, like a different part to it uh, talking about a multiverse. So under construction, by far is the most insane FNAF story put to paper. What starts as a fairly innocuous birthday celebration for Maya and her friends at the Mega Pizzaplex, and later with her family, slowly but completely derails into a surreal, insane multiverse story. It deals with an abstract threat. There is no main antagonist until the very end, and let me tell you, it is disturbing and not at all what I expected in the slightest. So this, I've obviously highlighted this in red because this is 
insane. Uh, we're going to be talking more about the multiverse in a second with, with what they've been talking about in Discord. But um, an abstract threat. So I wonder if it's going to be like a threat like this, where it's literally just like a, a weird concoction of human flesh or something like a monster coming alive under the pizza plex or something that would be kind of cool um i don't know there's no main antagonist until the very end so they're going to be maya's going to be doing something like this entire story and then at the end she's going to find the monster and probably get killed by it right if there even is a monster like who is the antagonist in this so i am concerned for maya and i am excited to read the story uh, let's get a little bit into the kind of other worlds. So here's kind of just a summary of everything that we've been talking about today. Uh, it's just a comment on his review of of the book. Uh, the many worlds theory is a concept mentioned earlier in the story to elaborate on what happens. It's similar to how Fetch had the zero point field as its central concept without directly spelling out how it relates to the story. It's not your traditional multiverse where multiple Freddy Fazbears or Charlie Emilys appear. It's the concept of being in another world and the implication that different worlds exist. Huh. So maybe, just maybe, it has like a backrooms vibe. Right? Where where Maya is in the Pizzaplex. I don't I don't quite remember the synopsis of the story, but maybe Maya is in the Pizzaplex. Um you know, she's at a party or something. She goes into like a, a back room, not not the back rooms, but she goes into a, a room at the Pizzaplex, like where she's not supposed to be going. And then she glitches into like the back rooms. And then that's where she finds, oh, maybe there's multi there's parallel universes. Maybe I'm in a different world. And then she's exploring this place and then she finds the, the antagonist and then she dies. Something like that. Like, it, I'm hoping for something like that. That would be so, so cool. But what are your theories in the comments below? It's kind of crazy that we're getting this, this, the multiverse, I guess. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't know if it, it truly is a multiverse. Just the fact that there's the other world's theory in this one story. Could it tie into the epilogues? We have no idea yet until we find out when we read them. July 19th. That's when it's coming out. That's when I will be happy uh, because I will be reading another FNAF book. Oh God, kill me. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe for more of this kind of coverage of FNAF news and upcoming books and stuff. I've been Ozone, but I have to go Zone. I will see you later. Goodbye.